Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water. I played all the way in the last drop up to Ren's final part of his chapter. So, first of all, we have a couple things to look at. It's not under items. Wait, is it collection? Yes, it is. Butterfly Lens. It causes twice as many spirit fragments as normal to appear. That's incredible. That's what allows me if, to target up to five things so I can get that super shutter chance and push things back. That's amazing, because a lot of ghosts really do hang out with like one or two of those spirit fragments at any time. If they hang out with two, then I'll make four appear, plus the ghost making five, allowing for a shutter chance. That's a really good lens. Then we have notes. So, Yuri, after losing all her family in a tragic accident, she gained the ability to glance into people's souls and read their thoughts. Doctors thought it was just shock and that she would heal in time. She slowly became withdrawn, isolated. Haunted by images of death, Yuri saw only one way out. Fixated with the idea that everyone dies alone, she tried to jump off a cliff. Hisuka got to her just in time and told her that if she really wanted it, then they could die together. Yuri has been staying with Hisuka at her shop ever since. The roles were reversed when Yuri had to find the missing Hiska. Yuri could never ignore those in need. In the end, she felt a kinship to Osei after glancing the souls of the dead on Mount Akami. The black water calls to her. And then Hiska. The owner of an antique store, she has developed her shadow reading ability by learning from local elders and by researching the subject. One of those locals gave her a camera obscura, which she now uses to look for missing objects and people. She stopped Yuri from jumping and brought the orphan girl back to her shop. She feels for Yuri, but Hiska doesn't have the power she does. She could only sense the ghosts and memories, not see them. On a missing person case, the girl she was looking for committed suicide before she could get to her. Hisuka was left broken, and she took on no more missing person cases. Until Miyu, that is. Moved by her foster mother's plea, she went to look after her. When she saw Yuri on the cliff, memories of the girl she couldn't save came flooding back, and overcome with emotion, she rushed to stop Yuri from jumping. The maidens of Blackwater called for Hisuka to join them, but in the end, Yuri saved her. Okay, but we're still going. We actually got something from beating the game. Oh, Osei. Osei had exceptionally strong psychic abilities. She had been chosen to be drowned in the Shadow Spring as the main pillar of the faith. So that she does not just disappear, she needed to enter into a ghost marriage. A votive picture was commissioned. Rumors of Dr. Aso and his camera obscura, which could capture the subject's soul, had reached Mount Takami, and so he was invited to take a photo of Osei. He fell in love with her, and she reciprocated. He then left the mountain, taking with him a fragment of Osei's soul trapped in the photo. So that was the bride we met at the very end of the game with Ren. As Osei was shut in the casket, still yearning for Dr. Aso, Kyozo Kururugi was killing the shrine maidens, releasing the pain and anguish they had taken from others. Those dark thoughts entered Osei, causing her casket to burst open and the black water to flow. That's what we saw in that old witch we stopped with the, the two witch fight with Yuri. I don't know if they're witches, but... The mountain was consumed by the accursed waters. Osei, destined to endlessly relive those shrine maidens' last moments alone in the dark, withstood the pain for a time, but she will not last much longer. The protective seal surrounding the mountain has long been maintained by turning local girls into pillars. Osei knows that she will soon fade, and so uses her powers to call to Yuri, a kindred spirit, and Ren, in whom part of Dr. Aso lives on. The Shadow Spring a vast spring of dark water accessible through the shrine on the water. The black water is said to be from the netherworld to which the shadow spring is an entrance. The dark sun hangs in the sky above, illuminating the murky waters with its eerie orange glow resembling the dying rays of light at sunset. This light lures people towards it until they vanish into the endless dark. Shrine Maidens. I didn't get number one, I guess, but here's number two. Same goes for Glance for that matter. Shrine Maidens were central to the Mount Akami faith. They would accompany people who came to the mountain to end their life and be witness to their last moments. Pilgrims would choose a maiden before entering the mountain. The maidens would absorb their feelings and thoughts. After a time, the maidens' hearts would overflow with these emotions. They would take that pain with them into the casket and reliquary, caskets and reliquaries, which would then be sunk into the water. Long ago, a man called Kyoso Kururugi killed the Shrine Maidens and their bodies washed up into the Pool of Purification, tainting it with their blood. This resulted in them becoming beings of the netherworld. They continue to ensure those who come onto Mount Akami die a proper death. A few of the maidens survived and left the mountain. It is said that they settled in the villages at the foot of Mount Akami that their abilities live on in their descendants. Yeah, love after death and embrace. And like we, we got some ending notes here. Last drop, embrace. This is the setup for the... Uh... Yeah, no, we read this. Having, oh, we have not read this. Having absorbed the thoughts of countless ghosts, Yuri feels the mountain calling to her. 
She makes for her. She makes her way toward the Shadow Spring. Awaiting her is Osei Kurosawa, the immortal flower. Yuri and Osei share the same pain, grief, and isolation. They fall as one. They are no longer alone. So that's one ending. Now let's take a look at another one of Ren's possibilities. And then, if I'm lucky, we could take a look at another one of Yuri's possibilities. Now let's actually read the text this time. The place where ghost marriages took place. Is someone waiting for me inside? No, I have to make the choice. The groom must bring with him the token of his chosen bride. A photo of the bride, a lock of white hair. This time we'll go with the bundle of white hair, see what happens. You've come. You've come at last. <laughs> come on, over here. <laughs> This is an actual fight. Man. I really let her have it. Uh oh. Build faster. There we go. I can't believe this is an actual fight. With the bride, I was able to just glance or reach out. Ah, oh, come on. We doing this or what? Good. God, it's creepy every time. Let's just, uh... I would like to make this fight work. But she's not really helping me out. God, that is creepy. Can I kill two dolls with one shot? The fact that they teleport is not doing me any favors. Let's do this. Oh, this could work. Beautiful. I should take care of the dolls. And we're done. No, we're not, but that's okay. No, 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 no. Gotcha. I'm not like the others. I cannot die. But at last, I feel the end coming. I'm so glad that you came. I really am. I got to see you one last time. Now. I want you to forget me. Forget all about me. I want to see something beautiful before I go.
So that's another Ren ending. We'll see where that goes. But now for Yuri's final boss fight, and I looked up how to get her other ending just to make sure I don't screw this up. And it's a good thing I did, otherwise I could have made this last a while. Let's hope I get this right. Cherry Blossoms. New ending. Ren roams Mount Akami following Dr. Aso's memories. The trail leads him to his own ghost marriage. The bride Ren has chosen is waiting for him in the house of joining. It's the white-haired girl, Shiragiku. Ren is scared of her reliquary and defeats her with his camera obscura. She is thus relieved of her duties as a pillar and forgives both Ren and Dr. Aso. She recalls a memory of beautiful cherry blossoms, thinking of them as she fades away. What else is there? Ah, Shigeku. She was born in the 19th century, when Mount Akami was still home to strange rituals. She was born with psychic abilities. However, she was very frail and she was not expected to live long. She had once been gravely ill and nearly died, but managed to recover. She was sent to Mount Akami so that she could be made into a pillar. It was said that those who were close to death could not die, and would make for stronger pillars. Mount Akami often recruited girls from other shrines to become pillars. Shirigeku chose Kunihiko Aso, her only friend, to cut a lock of her hair as a token during a special ceremony. When Dr. Aso grew up, he came to think that the surreal ceremony was just a dream. He visited Mount Akami as an adult and passed through the Shrine of Dolls, but did not sense Shirigeku's presence. Shirigeku, now a pillar deep underground, waited for the one who had her token. Until then, she'd play with ghosts of children killed on Mount Akami. Wow. And cutscenes was that last... Yeah, Blossoms. Okay. Let's do this thing with Yuri. Okay, and done. Now let's try the glance thing again, if the game would be so kind. Thank you, I did it. Boom. Haven't we seen this? Maybe it's the same setup? Yeah, we've seen this. I guess we'll see what Yuri makes of it. Yeah, this is different.
Those words were too powerful for me. They were a curse. I did not want to die with him. I wanted to live with him. I feel as though the curse has finally been lifted. And so, I shall go alone. I'll let the dark current take me. Wait! Your glance has saved my soul. I leave my last thoughts with you. I am so glad it was you. Well, it looks like we stopped the Shadow Spring this time, and we got to live. Oh my god. of the departed. Ah, Nisuka followed us, just like last time. Okay, we didn't really get to see what happened, but we know that we lived, and we got to live happily ever after, it seems. So there's Yuri's good ending. So that covers both of Ren's available endings. I assume there's only two available in this chapter. We'll see what happens in the, the next one. And we got both of Yuri's, because Yuri only has two endings. So that went as well as it could have. Now let's see what we get as a reward. Oh. Don't get up yet. Stay there. You need to rest. Oh, come on. I'm not going anywhere. Just trust me. <sighs> okay, looks like we got a satisfying ending for Ren as well. Okay. I'm going to have to check the note on that chapter later, but... Do we do we not get a reward for that? Ah, sc okay, school uniform for Yuri. Yeah! <laughs> Zero Suit Samus! It's a Nintendo game. Here's a fun fact. In Japan, the um, there was no Zero Suit Samus costume. It was a bikini costume instead. Instead of going for both costumes, they replaced one with another. Honestly... Both regions lost out on a costume. It's weird. Yuri's accessories. Black glasses. Okay. So let's take a look real quick. So Zero Suit Samus was probably the coolest, so let's go with this. School uniform first. Yeah. Um, back to normal for the sake of emphasizing the accessories. Oh, black glasses. You cannot see this. Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, okay. Black glasses, calico glasses. 
bunny ears. God, that zoom is crazy. I can't really control it. Bunny tail. Freaking pom pom, great. Uh, okay, zero suit Samus. It's freaking hysterical. Just play Fatal Frame like this. That's a riot. Okay. Yeah, Ren still only has his normal outfit and kimono. Mew. Well, you couldn't really see the cat ears last time, but there you go. And cat tail. Oh, it looks like there isn't levels of zooming. It's either all the way in or all the way out. Okay. So Yuri has everything, but to get Ren's and Miu's stuff, my guess is that we're going to have to advance with the, uh, well, first thread. Well, here we are back at Miu. It turns out she actually does have two endings. Yuri and Miu each have two. Here's the part where we see our mother at the, uh, the beach. Normally what I would do here is take a picture of her because the game prompts me to. But what if I just don't? Yeah, what, what if I just don't? This is it. This is where the ghost marriages were carried out. Well, I guess we'll just the see what happens to me the then. Not with each other, but with the living. I'm going to take the option that I should not. So I'm going to go with the photo of the bride. Now we remember what happens. I go in, and then I have the opportunity to touch. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna shoot her instead. So you have come here to say goodbye. When you took that picture of me, you took away a part of my soul. It caused me a great deal of suffering. Even so, I was still happy. I shall return to the darkness. But before I go, photograph me. Save a part of me before I'm sealed away forever. Oh boy. Oh! Girl who kept waiting. Okay, here's Mew's sad ending. my brother to just bring him back or maybe 
I really wanted to return to the past. To return to those happier times and stay there forever. I wish I had someone I could cross to the other side with. At least you have father. But I don't have anyone. I'm alone. I hated you for the longest time, but now I, I get it. I understand. So far, this is the same. That's different. shadow of you remained. <laughs> Jeez, that's rough. I think I like the other ending better. Your notes updated. Let's see what comes of this. Also, there was some stuff I hadn't checked before. Uh, Love After Death, was it? That, that was the good one. Uh, there was Cherry Blossoms? No, that was a good one. Waking Up the Dreams, I think, was a good one? Yes. Yeah, th this is the bad one. This is the bad one. And then there was also Embrace. Um, this was Yuri's bad ending. Having absorbed the thoughts of countless ghosts, Yuri feels the mountain calling for her. She makes her way toward the Shadow Spring. Awaiting her is Ose Kurosawa, the immortal flower. Yuri and Ose share the same pain, grief, and isolation. They fall as one. They are no longer alone. Alone in the casket, Ren roams Mount Akami following Dr. Aso's memories. The trail leads him to his own ghost marriage. The bride Ren has chosen is waiting for him in the house of joining. It's the bride from the photo, Ose Kurosawa. As she approaches, Ren takes a picture of her, stopping her from getting close. She accepts his rejection and asks that he take one last picture. Ren grants her that wish and she disappears, to return to her duties as a pillar, leaving Ren the picture and her soul. Bit of a bittersweet one. And finally, the Shadowborn. Miu and her mother watch the dark sun as it sinks into the black water. Miku promises never to leave Miu again. It's a lie. A lie that hurts more than the truth. Miu knows that her mother is no longer of this world. Her mother vanishes, and Miu, now alone, cries out. Man, that sucks. And you know, there's still one more sad Ren ending. We'll get to that later. Well, now we got a white kimono for Miu for having gotten both of her endings. 
and red glasses, and silver glasses, and square glasses for Ren, sunglasses for Ren. Okay, so let's take a look. So Yuri has everything. Ren, square glasses, and sunglasses, huh? Okay. And now we have Miu. So white kimono. Alright. And we're missing a third costume, but we also have the two glasses. Red. Silver. Okay. There we go. One more costume to get, so we'll see how we go about getting that. Not bad. Well, here we are. We're going to go for uh, Ren's last ending. This ought to be interesting. So this time we're going to go with the bundle of white hair. We're going to go for the white-haired girl. Now we've already seen this scene, so let's do that. Now what if I press nothing at all? that box. There we go. I gotta let her grab me when I'm by the box. Whoa. I've always been alone. I just wish we could stay here, hidden forever. Hmm. I was different from the other shrine maidens. They told me I wouldn't live long. That's why no one wanted to be my friend. I was lonely. But I won't be alone anymore. We'll always be together. Unable to die, we'll be together forever. Huh? No, it won't be right. I cannot die. I will be a pillar for eternity. But you... You can die. You shouldn't waste that. Now go! Shrine where they played as children. Now it's nothing but ruins. It has fallen into oblivion, together with its maidens. Wow. So Ren gets out, but it's just a sad ending for the white haired girl. That's rough. And so here's the note for that. Uh, that ending in the reliquary Ren roams Mount Akami following Dr. Aso's memories the trail leads him to his own ghost marriage the bride Ren has chosen is waiting for him in the house of joining it's the white haired girl Shiragiku 
The answer to her reliquary where Ren turns into a young Dr. Aso. In this way, the vow he made to her is fulfilled. Now, Shirageku remembers the first time they met and pushes him away, choosing to remain alone as a pillar. Ren wakes up outside Kagarui Shrine, where Dr. Aso used to play with Shirageku when they were children. Just cuts off right there, I guess. Now all we have to do is beat the game, because we got all four of Ren's endings, so let's see if there's a reward that comes of it. Well, now I beat the game again, so what do we get as a reward for getting... I don't think it's every ending, but all of Ren's endings? Princess Zelda for Mew and Ren's accessories. Oh my goodness. So first of all, Yuri, we've we've completed her costume stuff. Zero Suit Samus is her, you know, craziest outfit. We have Ren. He has fox ears and oh. Ears are on the head. Ears. Wow, that's ridiculous. And we have Foxtail. I think it's actually a regular Foxtail. I don't think it's a... I don't know, is that a Star Fox nod? That's a bit of a stretch. Can I... Yeah, I could put on all the stuff at once, obviously, except for two conflicting glasses. But finally, the main attraction, the hardest thing to unlock, is Miyu's costume. She has normal white kimono, but finally Princess Zelda. Oh wow, that's actually really elaborate. That's more intense than I thought it would be. I think... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's a particular version of Zelda or not. It might just be kind of a Zelda costume. Because I don't know if it's quite Twilight Princess. Maybe Skyward Sword? Which was the most recent one at the time? That's pretty awesome though. So you can just play the game like this, which is pretty funny. Well, all right. There you have it. This is what you get for beating Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water. But as you saw before, we have the extra episodes. The threads. So we're going to be taking a look at that, but for now it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We didn't really see much in the way of new chapter content, but we were able to go back and redo what we had done in order to get other endings. Now before, we had gotten Yuri's sad ending and Ren's bride ending. Turns out though it was just one of two. We got the happy bride ending, but as you saw, we could go for, for Yuri, her happy ending, Ren, the white-haired girl's ending, the positive one, but then we could also get Miu's sad ending, Ren's sad bride ending, and Ren's sad white-haired girl ending. There's a lot of sadness going on in this game. Surprise, surprise. Welcome to Fatal Frame. But we also got some really cool costumes, including Nintendo-themed ones. That's really awesome. So at this point, we have beaten the game. We have unlocked every costume piece for every character. So all that's left to do now is do these weird secret episodes. Guess we'll see how that plays out. Until next time, everyone.